Hello everyone, my free to play account is about to turn 2 years old, so it's time for another review. In case you have seen my first one, I try to keep the format roughly the same, and I also draw a few comparisons to the progress made in year 1 to see what changed. First I will go quickly over my character, weapon and artifact count, and at the end I show every character I build in detail while rambling off some random facts about this account. Speaking of random facts, if you were to ask me about my 3 favorite characters, you see them on screen right now. As for characters, let's start with limited 5 stars, I went up from 5 last year to a total of 8 right now. The only one with constellations is Raiden at C1, everyone else is C0. Wandra, Sino, Ito, Yula, Zhongli and Venti. As for standard 5 stars, I'm at 5 out of 6, Keqing, Mona and Diluc at C1 and Chichi and Denari at C0. Still no Jean. As for missing 4 star characters, I'm missing Layla, Hazel and Toma, everyone else I have and 6 out of them are at C6, I guess you could say 7 if you include C5 Bennett. As for characters build, I went up from 16 to a total of 24 right now, not including the Traveler, 15 fully ascended, 5 at Ascension 5 and 4 at Ascension 4. As for crowns, I used 22. Triple on Yula, Ito, Ningguang and Scaramouche, double on Raiden, Jingshou and Zhangling and single on Venti, Rosaria, Shinobu and Bennett. As for weapons, they actually happen quite a lot. I went up from two 5 star weapons to a total of 5, one of them even at refinement rank 2, so basically I tripled my weapon count, which is pretty good. As for 4 star weapons, I have a total of 20 build and 13 of them are at refinement rank 5, the max refinement. As for artifacts, I went up from 111 last year to a total of 240 plus 20 artifacts right now. I'll also put up a breakdown of the sets I'm using on screen in case you are wondering which domains I mainly farmed. And of course, I won't be able to show every single artifact here, but you will see the ones I'm using later when I show the builds. On this account, I'm not using an artifact optimizer, so I'm actually not sure about substat efficiency here, but if I had to show my best artifact, it might be something like this cup here, for example. At this point, I usually talk about how much money I spend, but this is still a 100% free to play account. No primo gems or even skins or anything was purchased. Of course, there isn't too much to see here, you kind of just have to take my word for it. So let's just move on to the next topic, I guess. Alright, now I will show every character, feel free to pause when you are interested in a build and it's going too fast. Same as last time, while I do this I will talk about some random stuff related to this account just so that there is something to listen to. If I remember correctly then this account was made on February 17th and I logged in every day since then to play like 30 minutes on average. By now I also hit adventure rank 60 on November 4th last year so it took a little longer than 20 months. Nowadays it would probably even be faster with all the new Sumero content. That being said, I'm also a lot more casual on this account. What I mean by that is I do the main tasks like Archon Quest, Main Quest Line for each zone or character chapters, but I'm not a completionist who picks up every chest, does all the side quests or gets all the achievements. At the end I'll also show some statistics for that from the Hoyo website in case you're curious or just want to get an idea how many free resources I collected. In terms of repeatable content, I just do the time-gated things like events, daily commissions, abyss, or the three discounted weekly bosses, and reputation missions. As for resin, I don't think there's a way to track this, but my estimate is the vast majority is spent on artifacts at around 85%. And the rest is used on materials for character or weapon ascension and talents, obviously. Leylines is something I actively try to avoid outside the double reward event, though. As for farming, never did ore or artifact farm runs in the open world, but since I don't explore too much, I actually have to farm monster drops quite a lot. That sounds like a pretty long to-do list, but this is my second account, which I mostly only created to have access to all the characters without having to spend an amount of money on this game, which is genuinely making me uncomfortable. So I just skipped through everything, and like I said earlier, this isn't actually a huge time investment. Nonetheless, it's still fairly repetitive, so I wouldn't exactly recommend doing it. You wouldn't be able to get all the characters, but if you're still very active or a completionist, whatever you want to call it, I'd say you still end up with a fairly big character roster on a single account over time. That's the keyword, this is a slow game, you could call it a resource management game, because you will get rewarded for being patient and smart about it. 
Genshin was criticized a lot for being stingy with their rewards, like dailies not even rewarding enough to earn a single wish, or of course low anniversary rewards. Some of you might still remember the first one and all the complaints, but as much as I also personally like to criticize Gacha as a system, I have to say, after doing the fifth account review video right now, what I'm observing right here seems to be a reasonably well-built account, which is almost indistinguishable from a low-spending one. I feel like you have to actually swipe a lot to feel a meaningful difference long-term, and I think that's a good thing. Credit where credit is due. Anyway, now some actual meaningless stalling while this clip runs out. In the beginning, I randomly mentioned my three favorite characters, and in case you're curious why, for this I actually for once took the whole package into consideration, not just gameplay, but the way their personality is portrayed or aesthetics as well. I mean, just by looking at these characters, you can probably already see a certain preference I have when it comes to visuals. As for Yai, I think her playful nature is really entertaining, and the interaction between her skills is very satisfying to me. Raiden isn't the most interesting character, but in terms of gameplay, she is probably my favorite to play. I used to always have Ningguang in my top 3, but the past few months I really haven't used her that much, so I decided to give it to Scaramouche. To be honest, pre Sumeru Scaramouche was just the usual edgy child to me. The first time I saw him I just thought, great, another one of these is this like Zhao Jr., the Sasuke of Genshin. Yeah, I wasn't exactly a fan. But the Sumeru story did a good job of giving him more personality, I thought, and I enjoyed the philosophical impulses about identity, existence and whatnot. Also, he is very unique and fun to play, flying around and looking for the procs of his missiles. Basically, the Wanderer stayed in my regular overworld team ever since his release. Now some more random stats. I have 535 achievements, I don't really bother to farm them, and the same goes for name cards, I just happened to get 40. Chests I looted 2847 in total, as for the teapot, I finished the progression system and buy resin and experience books each week, that's pretty much it. The trading card game, so far I only leveled it up to rank 6, so I'm still missing some rewards, but since there isn't anything to gain for the actual game on a regular basis like in the teapot, I decided to pretty much ignore it here and just do it all on my main account. Web events and login rewards on the Hoyo website. I say this every time, I don't participate, I don't like them, and too little rewards to go out of my way to still do them, so I'm not a fan, that's it. Alright, now I actually ran out of things to say, so I'll just be quiet while this clip runs out, I think it's one more minute, and then I come back at the end. Alright, we made it to the end. I really enjoy making these videos, not necessarily only to share it, but it's also interesting to see how my account developed for myself. But of course, I wouldn't do all of this just for me, so hopefully this was also somewhat entertaining to you and you got something out of it. Anyway, I'll see you back next time, until then, have fun and bye bye.